It's day five of our North Coast 500 road trip. I'm Chelsea, he's James, and that's a terrible freeze frame. We've been doing a road trip around the top of the Scottish Highlands, and in this final video of our trip, we'll be visiting castles, drinking whiskey, and sharing our final costs for petrol and accommodation. Now, back to the video. And for once, we're not in the car when we're starting because we're already being massive tourists. Where are we, James? Castle Sinclair Gringo. This is what it used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. James, can you tell me a fact about this castle, please? I'll show you some stuff. This was his cinema room. And over there, was his open plan kitchen diner. This is scaffolding. He was also a scaffolder. The king. <laughs> it's quite fitting that we're starting the day with a castle because we've had our fair share of B&Bs, which we've really, really liked. However, tonight we are staying in a castle, a Scottish castle. So excited for that. So we're about to go down the Whirly Ghost steps, which is where the women would go and meet their husbands and their brothers and their sons off the boats with all the fish, and they'd carry the fish all the way up. It's over 300 steps. 365. Wow, and then they'd carry it into Wick, which from here, how long did it take in the car from Wick? About 10 minutes? At least, yeah. So they used to walk all the way up the steps and into Wick, mad. So it'd be here where they'd collect the fish. So they'd be like, Roy, lob us some halibut. Come on, I'll take it to Wick. I'll get us a couple of quid for it. I don't know why they're Welsh. And now for the climb back up. Oh my God. I'm so unfit, James. Oh. <sighs> As a clumsy person, it does scare the shit out of me that you could just trip and fall down. Please be careful if you come here. Oh, I think we need to go to a cafe to catch our breath back. There's a cafe that looks over the steps actually. However, Lisa, whose B&B we stayed in last night, which was lush, she recommended a cafe just down the road in Libster. So we're gonna check that out instead. I just used Google Maps then to search for the next bit, but I don't have any signal. The reason it works is you've got to download your Google Maps before you go. This is how you do it. That has been such a help because in so many places there's been no signal or really crap signal. Not even that E. Yeah, no service at all. So make sure you do that, that's so important. Even if you have a sat nav in your car, which we actually do, I wouldn't rely on it. I'd have the Google Maps as a backup because often the postcodes will actually take you to the wrong place. So it's definitely worth having the visual aid of Google with you. Plus, it's free. Cake. I cake. Mmm, lemon drizzle. What have you got there, James? Well, Lisa from our Airbnb recommended the crab roll. Here it is. It's actually very nice. Fun fact about me, I used to have a fear of flour, genuinely, and I never would have been able to pick up a bat like this. Um, I've come really far. My mum and dad are very proud of me. Oh, that's a lovely, that's a lovely bat. I'm glad she recommended this. We would have no way found it. Dunrobin Castle and uh, there's some guys I just made in. an ass of myself oh my god they guide you into the car park and she just put down his window and was like alright lads um, is this also where the hotel is no this is what James thinks we're staying at this fuck off castle as we were driving in I was like this looks nice I, I, I don't mind staying here what a dump yes we have arrived just in time for the falcon ring display, which starts in five minutes. The gardens are incredible. It's 
that's where we're going over there. These guys, Harris Hawks, live in the Americas, so Northern, Central, and South America is where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Goshawk. This one here looks like Gemma Collins. You know is actually my friend's last name. I'm constipated, Darren! Fancy one of these. We had seen an elephant head. Yeah. Just on the wall. Hmm, how many nails are holding that up? It's pretty heavy. <laughs> I love that you were worried about the engineering behind <laughs> putting the elephant head on the wall. But yeah, I suppose you can learn a lot about them. That's what they used to say, wasn't it? Yeah. We kept those museums so you could learn about the animals, but I think it's a bit weird. This castle's incredible. I kind of, I wasn't expecting it to be so magnificent. James is genuinely where you thought you were staying today. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. We spent an hour and a half here. We don't spend that long anywhere educational. <laughs> and we didn't even stop for a drink. That was an hour and a half of learning. Feeling a bit peckish after our castle adventure, but don't worry, we've still got um, half a leftover sandwich from yesterday. Yes. I feel like a bummer. I forgot how bloody big it is. <laughs> Whilst James is just parking, I'll explain why we decided to stay in a castle for last night. Because we wanted to have something a little fancy to end the trip on. This costs £135 for the night. It includes breakfast, but it is quite pricey. We could have done it for cheaper, but for us to include this plus our previous B&Bs and Airbnbs, it's come in at just over £250 per person. It's about £251, which I think is pretty decent for six nights accommodation. So we decided to go all out on the last one. I think we deserve it, don't we, James? Yeah. All that really difficult driving we've had to, James has had to do. I've done nothing. Let's check in. We've just been brought into the room. Look how lovely it is. We're in the old part of the castle and there's a lovely view. That's our room there. Cute terrace. Beer garden. I think what's going to be interesting is how we find this in terms of value because this is £135 for the night including breakfast however we've been spending like £70-£80 pounds on getting a really nice place to stay and an incredible breakfast. The difference being we, we're not going to be sat in someone's lounge you know or feeling like we're encroaching on someone's personal space so I guess you pay a bit extra for that. Um, but yeah, I wonder if by tomorrow when we check out whether I think I'll be a total B&B convert or I'll want to stick to hotels in the future. Another reason we've chosen to check into a hotel tonight is the fact that Scotland is very well known for its whiskies, but with James driving, he hasn't really been able to sample many at all. Uh, and this place is very well known for its whiskey bar, so it meant that we could come, park the car, and James has got time to to test out a few so I think we'll do that next after maybe just a little nap. Are you bored of the beach yet? I've been to a lot of beaches. I'm hungry. <laughs> that means he's bored of the beach. This looks really nice James. So a starter is £12, a main is between £32 and £39, Oof. and a dessert between £10 and £12. Quid. Fancy. It's posh. Let's go to the pub. <laughs> oh, there's that one. This looks nice. Really annoyed because Luigi's looks really nice and um, but up. Where are we back at? We went back into the place and said, do you know who we are? And she said, oh, sorry, here's a table for you. The crime went outside <laughs> next to all the traffic. 
He said, can we sit outside? No one sat here. She said, sure. Like places like that place there and the the fancy place we walked past before just showed there there's some money here. Slash they've yeah. got the golf course. Feels like there's a lot of golfers in the area. Uh, a lot of the people in there were American golfers. Yeah they were actually. Yeah. Apart from us, we stuck out like a sore thumb and that's why they put us outside. We're gonna now finally go back to the hotel James and try some whiskies. It's called Exotic Cargo. It's got sherry <laughs> influence, but it's 50%. Needs an ice. He was like, you might need some water in that. I do. Good morning. The last you saw of us, James was a uh, neck in the whiskies. How did that go, James? Well, I did not get wasted. What had, a shocker! We had a bottle of wine yeah. and a couple of whiskers. Yeah. So, can you believe it? We didn't get wasted. Not a super wild night. Well done, us. Um, but we cut off because there wasn't much going on and we are now back on the road. I thought we'd check in about the hotel because at £135, mm -hmm. it was almost three times the price of the previous Airbnb that we stayed in. So, was it worth it? What do you think? Well, we stayed in the castle, which is kind of cool. Really cool. And we had a nana nap, which we wouldn't have felt comfortable <laughs> doing in someone's house. When yeah, we were... that's true. We did. Around four o'clock, we had a bit of a, a sleep, which was lush. Yeah. But apart from that, pretty... It was nice, but yeah, you could have done the same in, in a b and I guess. To be honest, I think because it's a road trip, you are getting out there and you're doing so much that you don't really need to be based at a hotel. The breakfast was all right. Actually, the selection was good. Although we did have some nice food yesterday. Yeah, I mean, we got to stay in Dornoch, which was nice, um, and a cute little pretty village. But yeah, just keep it in mind. Personally, I think, stick with B&Bs. Right, where to next? We are actually gonna go on a whiskey tasting tour, but we'll, we'll just sample one whiskey because James has got to drive obviously um, but we've just filled up at the petrol station and we are going to be getting to the end of our road trip today which is very sad but once we've done the whiskey tasting we'll go back to Inverness and uh, we will give you a summary of what we thought of the whole thing we're actually a bit early for the whiskey tasting so we thought we'd go down the road 10 minutes to some waterfalls but good opportunity to tell you about Skin so soft. Midges are dead annoying and they'll bite you to bits. So you can use DEET, mosquito repellent, all that kind of stuff, but this is like the um, natural version and has been working for us so far. This is the night that we didn't wear any of this. I had a few and they've been bloody itchy. They only just stopped itching today and that was probably like four days ago. So we're gonna lather ourselves in this, go to the waterfall and then do whiskey. that you can visit and a lot of them have these hour tours that cost between five and ten pound. Uh, we've chosen to come to Glenord Distillery. We only rang up yesterday and called and said do you have a space and they had loads so that was good. Here at Glenord we make a whiskey that's called the Singleton of Glenord. Big they are, they go all the way down. Because there's been a drought in Scotland, uh, the machines aren't on, which means we can actually film and take photos in here. Normally you can't, because the spark could start an explosion. What did you just do? Just took a photo and I wasn't supposed to. What could have happened? Could have blown everyone up. Is everyone looking at me going like... <gasps> Why is everyone looking at me? 
in the end. Uh, there are no rules for drinking whiskey. Just enjoy. So this is the end of the tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go to TripAdvisor. My name is Hazel. Look where we are. Inverness. That's the, the castle. castle. Yeah, we are back kind of where we started and that is the end of the North Coast 500 trip for us. How did you find it? I loved it. Yeah, it's been really, really good. I like driving. Yeah, I, I like sitting and being a passenger. Oh, it's bright. I might pop these on. You may have seen from our videos that we've been in a very nice car. We've been a beautiful car for the entire mm -hmm. trip. However, it does mean that it was a bigger engine, 2.5 litres, wasn't it? Yeah. So it meant that our petrol consumption was higher. So to take us through those numbers, James, go on. Well, I reckon we spent about £140 on petrol across the whole trip, but we've done some extra journeys as well, not just the yeah, 500. Yeah, I think we've done a few more miles than just the, the mere 500. So just, just the 500 would have probably been about £100 in petrol. Mm -hmm. And what about if it was like a 1.2 litre engine? If Yeah, because we the, the car that we were driving was quite powerful, but if you're in a smaller engine car, it'd probably be around £65, £70 for the entire 500 mile trip. We absolutely loved it, and it was so nice to finally go on holiday in the UK. Okay, put uh, some of our tourist money back into our own economy. Scotch economy. Scotch economy. We're more than happy to put it in there. I think it's a great option if you are looking for a cheap holiday that's full of things you can do for free. It's really good for that, isn't it? But that's it. That's everything from our trip across the north coast of Scotland. Thank you so much for watching the videos. If you haven't seen other ones, you can go back and watch them now. Um, but yeah, please hit subscribe. It makes me very happy. Uh, like, thumbs up, leave me a comment. Would you like to do it yourself? Um, but that's it for now until our next trip. Where do you fancy, James? Next trip? To drive back to London. I mean, we easy. We've got to do that anyway yeah. now, haven't we? Easily, please. All right, see you soon.